we have to make it pu publicly known all across the city that we support Ukraine, we support peace, and we're against that senseless war. Every day at noon, a Montreal city councillor for the borough of Ville-Marie has been showing his support for Ukraine by blasting the Ukrainian national anthem in front of the Russian consulate. This has quickly become a musical battle. So around noon every day I get out of my house with my bows and my phone and I go down the stairs in front of my house and I look at the residence of the consul uh, of Russia and then I come in front of the gate and I select uh, the Ukrainian anthem and I play it. Sazviz ritual took a turn last Friday when the Russian consulate decided to fire back. And here is the speaker from where they blasted the music last Friday to try to cover me while I was playing the Ukrainian anthems. <laughs> Demonstrators have been protesting in front of the consulate every Saturday for the past several weeks. Many have left Ukrainian flags and splattered red paint on its gates. Most recently, a Ukrainian teacher from Terban, Quebec, installed a string of 1,000 paper cranes made by her students. A Japanese legend says that hanging 1,000 cranes on a thread will make wishes come true. This one, the wish for peace. I saw at night the paper cranes being removed by the employees of uh, the consulate of Russia, even if it was on the public domain. During the interview, we were interrupted by a Montrealer yelling at a consulate official, tearing down a yellow and blue tarp wrapped around a tree in front of its gates. Oh, OK. Are they removing something? Uh, most probably. A musical protest has gained a lot of traction. It went viral on social media, and he since received videos of Ukrainians' reactions to the act. I've been told by uh, sources that uh, in Russia they know what, what I do. <laughs> it's not against Russian, Russian people. It's against the war of Vladimir Putin. The Russian consulate did not get back to us on time for air, but it told reporter Virginie Anne of the Canadian press that them playing music on the consulate's intercom was a coincidence, not a rebuttal. Sazville says he won't be stopping anytime soon. I will not be able to stop the war by myself. But if we do it together, everybody, something will happen. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.